An 18-wheeler truck has slammed into a Texas government building, killing one person and injuring more than a dozen others. The Brennan Building, located northwest of Houston, housed several departments, including the Texas Rangers Police Force and a motor vehicle agency. A county judge has called the incident a deliberate attack. The truck's driver was uninjured and has been taken into custody. All right, breaking news coming out of Brenham, Texas right now. It's where officers say at least 16 people are hurt after an 18-wheeler crashed into a Texas Department of Public Safety building. That's an office that provides and renews driver's licenses. Our Tegna partner station, KHOU, reporting that police believe this crash was intentional. And we can tell you right now that authorities say the vehicle involved here was stolen. The driver was taken into custody and is facing a bunch of charges. We are following this developing story very close. We'll keep you updated on what we do. Tonight, one person dead, more than a dozen others injured after a stolen 18-wheeler crashes into a Texas DPS office outside of Houston. Happened in the rural town of Brenham. According to law enforcement, 42-year-old Clenard Parker allegedly crashed into the building where his renewal for a commercial driver's license was rejected. Right now, authorities are not saying what charges Parker will face. Investigators are saying that crash was intentional. The Texas Rangers are handling this investigation. At least 16 people were hurt after police say a stolen 18-wheeler was intentionally crashed into a Texas Department of Public Safety office west of Houston. Officials say three of the injured were flown to area hospitals in critical condition. The driver was taken into custody at the scene. The county judge said that the suspect was denied a commercial driver's license yesterday and returned today with the intent to harm. Investigators say they have arrested a driver that may have driven an 18-wheeler into a DPS office on purpose. Yeah, that's crazy. This happened in Brenham. That's just northwest of Houston. They say the suspected driver was denied a commercial driver's license at the office the day before this incident. State troopers say 13 people were hurt in this incident and one person was killed. Investigators say the 18 wheeler involved had been reported stolen, but there are still a lot of questions in this ongoing investigation. This is, a, this is an active investigation, and as soon as we know more, we will surely share it with you. We want to be transparent with you, and as soon as we are able to show any videos, any of those things of that nature, we will, through our public information office, you can get that information. Officers say the suspect, Clinard Parker, is in custody in Washington County. First at four, one person dead and more than a dozen injured after an 18-wheeler crashed into a Texas Department of Public Safety office. It happened during a chase this afternoon in Brenham between Houston and Austin. DPS troopers gave an update within the last hour. They say troopers spotted the 18-wheeler, which had been reported stolen. A chase with the driver then followed. At one point, troopers say the suspect, identified as 42-year-old Clinard Parker, made a hard turn into the DPS office. They say after the initial crash, the suspect put the truck in reverse and backed up with what is believed to be the intent of ramming the building a second time. But troopers removed the driver from the truck before that could happen. At least three of the victims were flown to a hospital. The name of the person killed has not been released. DPS says Parker was denied a CDL license at the same office just yesterday. We'll keep you updated on this developing story on air and on Ken's 5. Tonight, investigators suspect a man intentionally plowed a stolen semi truck right through a Texas DPS office, and now we're learning what may have motivated him to do so. It happened today about 75 miles outside Houston in Brenham. Investigators say Clenard Parker stole the big rig and wouldn't stop when officers tried to pull him over. They say he took a hard right turn and crashed through the front door. The truck plowed across the waiting room full of customers getting their driver's license. One person was killed, 13 others injured. And now the mayor says Parker backed up, intending to ram the building a second time. Our fire chief mentioned that if he had veered a little bit to the left the second time, there would have been a collapse of that building, which would have resulted in a lot more injuries and possible death. An officer stopped that from happening by quickly pulling him out of the driver's seat. Investigators now say Parker tried to renew his commercial driver's license yesterday, but got denied, and he came back to that location. 
16 people are hurt after officials say an 18-wheeler was intentionally driven into a Department of Public Safety office west of Houston today. It happened in Brenham, about 75 miles west of Houston, west-northwest. Investigators say the tractor-trailer was stolen. The front of the building and the 18-wheeler both had extensive damage, as you can see there. Three people had to be flown by helicopter for medical treatment. A Washington County judge posted on Facebook that this crash was intentional and was done by a suspect who was denied a commercial license, a uh, driver's license yesterday. That suspect has now been arrested. The Texas Rangers have now taken over investigating that uh, extraordinary case. The driver's license office in Brenham, the scene of tragedy Friday morning after an 18-wheeler drove into it. This is a sad day for DPS and for all the people that were involved, uh, all the customers that we had in our building today. DPS says this started when a Washington County deputy was chasing the stolen truck on State Highway 36. The suspect wouldn't stop, turning onto U.S. Highway 290 and eventually taking a hard right turn and driving into the office. He's been identified as 42-year-old Clenard Parker. Officials say he went to the office Thursday afternoon. While he was there, the driver's license staff advised Parker that he was not eligible to uh, renew his commercial driver's license. Today we are reminded that those that serve us in public, it's a dangerous job. Someone that goes to work today to issue driver's license can literally trigger someone to create an act of violence. Six people were taken to hospitals where one of them died. That person has not been identified yet. Eight people were treated at the scene. It's not clear at this point how many were state employees. The uh, suspect was backing the vehicle up and with the intent of going into it again. Our fire chief mentioned that if he had veered a little bit to the left the second time, there would have been a collapse of that building, which would have resulted in a lot more injuries and possible death. Parker was arrested. Records show he's been booked into the Washington County Jail on charges of unauthorized use of a vehicle and evading arrest causing serious bodily injury. Parker himself was not hurt. This is a tragic day for us. Tragic day, my heart and, and goes out, my heart and prayers goes out to the family members of those that are injured as well as those. That One person is dead and multiple others seriously injured after a man drove an 18 wheeler into a DPS building in Brenham. Now, about an hour and a half east of Austin is where you'll find this area. Nabil Ramadna was in Brenham talking with people still reeling over what happened. Along 290 in Brenham, Texas. Drivers came to a crawl as they passed by this scene, an 18-wheeler that crashed into a Department of Public Safety building. At first I thought, what a, a terrible accident, that, uh, uh, but it looked, it looked like it was way too intentional because it was directly into the front door. Gary Belt lives in Brenham. He's familiar with the building where the crash took place. You walk in, it's kind of a reception area where there are about four desks uh, where the workers do the driver's license and things like that. And then there's a, a small waiting area just to the left of it. And uh, so I am quite sure that there were quite a few people that were just in that small area. DPS says a deputy was pursuing the driver of the stolen 18-wheeler when that driver took a hard right turn into the building, killing one person and injuring 14 others. The man behind the wheel, 42-year-old Clinard Parker. He was arrested at the scene and brought here to the Washington County Jail. This is a tragic day for us. Tragic day. My heart and, and goes out. My heart and prayers goes out to the family members of those that are injured as well as those that are injured. According to DPS, Parker had visited the facility recently. Parker did come to the DPS uh, Brenham office yesterday at approximately 3 or 4 p.m., where he was denied his commercial driver license. Now a small town is left wondering why someone would harm so many innocent people. What we've seen today was an act of violence. In Brenham, Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. The truck is now removed from the building. The reason why Parker was denied the CDL renewal is currently under investigation. Good evening, I'm Nora O'Donnell and thank you for being with us. We want to begin tonight with a deadly and terrifying day in Texas. Police say a stolen big rig semi-truck was intentionally crashed into a government office building, killing one person and injuring more than a dozen others. 
Two are now in critical condition tonight. According to authorities, the driver was in a high-speed police chase before deliberately smashing into the building about an hour west of Houston. A 42-year-old is in custody tonight, and police are now revealing the suspect visited the office earlier this week. Katira Winfrey from our CBS affiliate KHOU will start us off tonight with the new details. Stolen vehicle that crashed into the DBS office. Tense moments tonight after 42-year-old Clenard Parker of Chapel Hill, Texas, allegedly rammed this 18-wheeler into the Department of Public Safety building in Brenham, Texas, leaving a gaping hole. He was arrested at the scene. He had stolen an 18-wheeler earlier. He was being chased by a deputy, and then he ran into our building. We have several people that were injured, and, and one is deceased at this time. The truck was carrying a heavy load of rebar, steel reinforcement, when police say Parker slammed it into the building where various licensing services are provided. Authorities say he had been there the previous day. Parker did come to the DPS Burnham office yesterday at approximately 3 or 4 p.m. where he was denied his commercial driver license. The mayor said it could have been even worse had Parker not been pulled out of the driver's seat and put in handcuffs by law enforcement. Had it not been for their quick action, uh, as you can see across the street, the uh, suspect was backing the vehicle up and with the intent of going into it again. Tonight, the state's Texas Rangers have launched a criminal investigation. What we've seen today was an act of violence. We will prosecute this person to the full extent of the law because this will not be tolerated. And the suspect is facing multiple felony offenses, including serious bodily injury. He's being held at the Washington County Jail tonight without bond. Nora. Katira Winfrey, thank you, sir. Now to a developing situation in Brenham. An 18-wheeler crashed into a Texas DPS office. One person was killed. 13 others were hurt. And right now, authorities are calling it a criminal act. Brenham, about halfway between Austin and Houston. Katira Winfrey is there with the very latest this afternoon. A DPS official says the suspect is 42-year-old Clenard Parker. A county judge said that the suspect did this on purpose after he was denied a CDL license just yesterday and that he came back with the intent to do harm. An official said that's what he did when he ran that semi into the front of that building, hurting 14 people and killing one person. Now, the initial call came in around 10:30 this morning about a stolen semi. Deputies quickly spotted the truck while riding along US 290 and they tried to pull him over. A DPS official says he kept going and ultimately made it to the DPS parking lot where he drove into the building. That official says the suspect then backed the semi up and had intentions of hitting the building again, but officials were able to stop him and get him into custody. The majority of the damage happened in the waiting room beyond the front door. One of the 14 victims died at the hospital. Several others were taken to different hospitals and eight were treated on the scene and released. Along with area law enforcement, other city and state government leaders shared their thoughts on this tragedy. It's a place of public service. And so uh, what we've seen today was an act of violence. And I want to first thank all the first responders, the deputy sheriff that uh, realized that was a stolen truck, uh, those that got on the scene quickly to keep uh, more damage from being done. Texas Rangers are taking over the investigation, but the suspect is in the Washington County Jail right now facing a long list of felony charges. Now, so far, it's not clear why he was denied a CDL license, but officials say he was not eligible to renew. Reporting in Brenham, Katira Winfrey, KVU News.